Hey guys, it's Emily. Welcome back to a puzzle vlog. So this is a little series that I've started here on my channel where I'm just taking you along for the next couple days to just show you some things that I'm doing. Some things will be puzzle related, some things won't. Just super chill, very casual. If you don't wanna see things that are non-puzzle related, I'll make sure to leave timestamps down below so you can skip ahead. Today is Thursday as I'm filming this and I have a few things that are happening. Uh, first off is I do need to organize my puzzle space. I've recently did a declutter and I have to rearrange some things a bit, move some things out of the way because tonight, the final piece of furniture is finally arriving for this room and I'm so excited about it. It is a sideboard that I'm going to be using for storage, but it's going to be helping me with the backgrounds for where my puzzle table is. So I need to do some rearranging in here and some cleaning in here. So I thought that would be super fun for you guys to see. I also am in the middle of my 30 day puzzle challenge, so we'll definitely be doing some puzzles throughout this video. And I do have a few other things that I have in mind, but hopefully you enjoyed this type of video. A lot of you seem to be into it and it's super fun for me to film. So that's what we are doing. Right now, Washington is in a heat wave. So you're gonna be hearing some like buzzing from fans and such that are in our house. We only have the AC in the bedroom upstairs because it's normally not this hot. It's been about a hundred plus every single day this week. And so that's fun. That's what we're doing. I hope you all are having a great day. Make sure to stay hydrated and <laughs> Let's just get into the video. First things first is I need to, I think, clean this space because I just want to make sure we're ready for this evening. Um, so my plan is to, I'll show you, I'll show you what we're working with. Hold on. So this is where we're going to be putting the piece of furniture right against this wall. So it's going to be like the background of the, the videos. So I just need to push this a little bit further out. All the puzzles that I'm decluttering that just need to not be in the center of the room. I have a ton of puzzles on poster board that needs to be put away. It's really not horrible. It's not going to take too much time. I just really need to get this out of the way, move the table, and I somehow need to move the wine fridge. Wine fridge is not plugged in right now. We have so many fridges in our house. We have our regular fridge, and then we have two like beverage fridges in our coffee area. And then we have our wine fridge that we brought with us. And I don't know if we're keeping it. Yeah, I think that's what I need to do first is to at least get started with this space. So I'm definitely making progress in this space, which feels so good. Still need to do all over here, um, but I feel like the rug area is pretty good. Um, I do need to get on my Zoom call, so that's what I'm going to do now. And then afterwards, I think I'm just going to finish up in here and I do need to go to the farm. So that's what we're gonna do. All right, so I just finished my client appointment, which went really well. Did a little work, and now we're about to go to the farm. So I'm going to pick up my produce. It might be super busy, so I might not take you along, but I'll at least show you what I got afterwards. So let's just get going.
also just got back from picking up my produce and I tried to film in there, but it was super busy. Um, but this is a good week, I'm excited. So first off, we have the flowers for this week. Um, I kept it all together. Sometimes I spread them out across like a few different faces, but I don't mind it all together, all clumped up like that. I'm not a flower ranger, but they're pretty. Um, moving on to the other items, we got some lettuce. I could pick between kale or Swiss chard, so I chose kale this week. Um, we got a pound of carrots. We got a variety of green beans or purple beans. I don't know, but they're cool. Um, we got a variety of tomatoes, a massive onion. We got cilantro. I could have picked between cabbage or hot pepper, so I did a red cabbage, a um, couple of zucchini. The fruit this week was some black raspberries. I got some potatoes, one green pepper, and a bunch of cucumbers. I really want one of these tomatoes. I might just like cut up some of these vegetables and just have them as a snack. Put this stuff away, and I'm roasting right now, so I need to figure out what to do for dinner. I do not want to turn on the stove right now. This has been our issue all week long because we don't have AC. So it's like when you turn on the stove, it just heats up the whole house. I don't know. But anyways, I'm going to have some delicious tomatoes for lunch. All right, so it is much later and our piece of furniture is here. I just wanted to show you what it looked like. Here's my puzzle table and then here is this sideboard that we got. Um, so there's a couple doors and some drawers. I'll probably do some filming equipment in there. I'm um, not quite sure what I'll put on top yet. I just put these there for like placeholders. Maybe we can organize and decorate this tomorrow, but tonight I thought it'd be fun to do this guy. Um, I thought this would be fun to have on the little shelf that has like the globe on it right now. Um, so this is by Crystal Puzzles or Be Puzzled, and it's a little Winnie the Pooh. So I'm gonna do this real quick and I'm loving that new piece of furniture. This little guy right here is toasty too. Hi hey buddy. You warm? Yeah. In case you've never done one before, you do kind of have to go in order by the steps. And I just wish, like, they're already numbered. I wish the pieces were numbered in the correct step, but it is what it is. I did perfectly fine. And then I just wanted to look at these. So here are some other options that they carry. And there are so many cute ones. Like, I love the panda bear there. Obviously, I love the kittens. On the back, they have a ton of different Disney licensed ones. I used to have Tinkerbell. She did not survive our move, um, but oh, the windmill has been on my wish list. Now, Dave is asleep, or at least in bed, and I am now going to do my puzzling for the day. I feel like the room is finally coming together. It's definitely cleaner than it was earlier today. Let me just show you that real quick. So I'll definitely do a thorough like video to show you my room as it's complete i mean it's pretty close so this is what it's looking like so far um we did decide that we are getting rid of the wine fridge just because we have so many others that we, we just don't have a need for it anymore um but yeah this is the pile of puzzles i've been choosing from for my 30 day challenge just because these are all the 500 pieces that still need to be done aside from a few that I've already done for this challenge, but I think I'm thinking this guy today. Or should I do this one? I've done this one before, but this is the one that's new and it's actually in my collection before I had borrowed it. 
this one was so fun. Ooh, now I'm not quite sure what I wanna do. You know which one I've been really itching to do is this one by Pintu. It's a 1200 piece, but it's broken up into six, two 600 piece sections. So I think I'm gonna do this one. Like look at the amount of sky. It might be tricky. I might be regretting my decision, but it's called Ballooners Rally. So this, this is what I'm gonna do. I lied. Um, it's actually in four sections. So four 300 piece sections. This is awesome because now I can just do like one part at a time, which is easier for me since I don't have a ton of time to puzzle right now. Ooh, which one should I do? Should I start at section number one? Probably, right? Oh, I'm excited. I'm a little bit in and I know I'm not doing overhead footage right now, but that's so I can have my phone to watch stuff. Um, but this is where I'm at. I feel like I'm making really good progress, but there is a lot of sky in this section. Um, obviously, it's not a big puzzle. I'm not too worried about it. A little worried about the other section of sky, because that's like pretty much all sky besides like a couple small balloons. At least this time around, I have a big balloon and I got a Loki who's meowing. Um, so yeah, it's working out pretty well. Um, I feel like this one though has, hopefully you can see that, the texture of the puzzle is very pixelated by no looking at the image. It's more like artsy strokes than anything. Not my favorite, but it's just a little bit more challenging than what I'm typically used to with Pintu. So that's my progress. I'm hoping to finish this section tonight because um, that would just be awesome. So the first 300 piece section is complete and it was super fun. Um, love the sky, of course, and I love the hot air balloons. And I think I'm going to stop with this one for tonight. I'm going to move into the living room to watch TV and probably do a 500 piece or maybe I'll do another section, but I'm moving to the living room. It is so hot. Oh my goodness, it's so muggy in here. Um, so I think I'm going to sit in front of the fan and that just sounds amazing. Um, so I'm going to stop here for tonight. I'll see you in the morning, but I'll show you which puzzle I end up doing. Hey, good morning. I have another iced coffee. And I have a lot of things on my to-do list today. I'll take you along for some of them. I have been experimenting with puzzling in the morning. Because you guys know I usually do my puzzling in the evening when Dave goes to bed and it's quiet. Um, but I've realized on the times that I've puzzled in the morning, I'm like uber productive for the rest of the day. So we're going to try that again. Um, I'm going to continue on with like the next section of puzzles for this guy. And I do have a timer here. So I am just going to puzzle for an hour. Just to get some of the puzzling out of the way. At least get like my minimum time done, you know. Um, so that's my plan is to do that and have my coffee kind of chill but also hopefully get the ball rolling to be more productive because I have so much to do today, um, both work-wise and home-wise. So we're just gonna experiment a little bit with that. Um, so yeah, let's just do the next section of puzzle, which is section number two, which I think is more sky. So that's what we'll do. I 
So we have half of the 1200 piece done, all the sky, like look at that. That is so fun. Um, all right, that actually didn't take me as long as I was expecting. I had the hour long time on, the other half maybe took me a half hour, so I'm like a half in to puzzling today. Um, but I need to do other things. <laughs> Hi Loki. I need to get going and get busy. All right, so it's just about noon. I finished editing a video, just waiting for it to render and then I'll post. And then I'm currently waiting for someone to pick up a bed frame that we are giving away. So they should be here in just about five minutes. And then afterwards, I thought we would go on a little outing, go to Hobby Lobby and find a couple things to put on the piece of furniture for decoration. It's because I really don't have a lot of like knickknacky type things and I thought it'd be cute to have it decorated for videos. Of course, I'm going to be using some puzzle boxes. So we're gonna like spruce that up. And I think I'm going to just try to finish this room today because I'd love to do a video where it's like, welcome to my puzzle room. <laughs> so that's my plan um, to do that. And then probably do some like Instagram posts, scheduling and such. So that's my plan currently. So it is much later. I'll show you what I did so far with the sideboard. I'm just about to do a little bit more puzzling. If you're hearing some random voices, Dave is playing a video game. Um, we just watched the movie Megan. That's creepy. Um, it was good, but it was creepy. And let me show you the sideboard. So this is what I've done so far. Um, it's going to be a work in progress and will change, of course, according to the seasons. A lot of these things I got at Hobby Lobby aside from the puzzles, but that's what it's looking like. And I'm going to start with the next section of the puzzle. Section three is done. This puzzle's really coming together. I just have these pieces left, just the last bag, and this section ran really quickly. So I have a feeling this one will be pretty quick too. Um, there's the one hot air balloon, but there's a lot of stuff in the background versus just sky. So, should be pretty easy. Right, so this puzzle was so much fun. Um, each section really didn't take me too long just because I mean, it is such a small 300 pieces. Loved the sky, this is gorgeous. Um, I will say towards the end, my thumbs were getting a little achy just because it can be tricky. Um, so I've been, I was using this to push down the pieces, which is something to mention because your arm, your thumbs will definitely be sore. This is such a tight fit, but oh my gosh, I loved it. Hey guys, so it is future Emily here and I'm doing some editing. And I had six hours worth of video content to use for this video and I need to put it in two parts. I don't want to cut out on like so much that 
I'm missing out on good content. I don't want it to be like a 40, 50 minute long video, which I know some of you would love that, but for me, that's way too much. So I am breaking this up into two parts. The second half, which is going to be very puzzle heavy, will be up in the next video, but I pretty much had to play catch up for my puzzle challenge. And so I do five puzzles in two days. My goal is to do six, spoiler alert, I did five, but it was a really good weekend of puzzling. So I just didn't want to like cut out a bunch of stuff just to make this video shorter. So we're doing it in two parts. I hope you don't mind. Thank you so much for tuning into this video and I will see you guys in part two.